So we are learning or observing our own state of mind. That's where real education begins. Self-education. We are learned so much from others about ourselves. We're always looking for others to lead us, not only outwardly, but especially in the psychological realm, inwardly. If there is any trouble, any disturbance, <clears throat> we immediately go after somebody who will help us to clear it away. We are addicted to institutions. We are addicted to organizations, hoping that they will settle our problems, help us to clarify our own minds. So we're always depending on somebody. And dependence will inevitably bring about corruption. So here, we are not depending on anybody, including the, on the speaker, especially on the speaker. Because there is no intention to persuade you to think in a particular direction, to stimulate you by fanciful words and theories, but rather to observe what is actually going on in the world and all the confusion within. <coughs> and in that observation not to make an abstraction of what is observed into an idea. Please, let's be very clear on this point. When we observe that a tree, the word tree is an abstraction. It's not the tree. Right? I hope that's clear. The word, the explanation, the description is not the actuality, is not what is. So we must be very clear on this point from the beginning. When we observe actually what is going on in the world, and deeply in our own consciousness, that observation can remain pure, direct, clear, when there is no abstraction of what is observed into an idea. And most of us live with ideas, which are not actuality, ideas become all important, not what actually is. Philosophers use idea in various senses, the Aristotelian, the various philosophers have used ideas in their own particular way. But we are not dealing with ideas. We are concerned only with the observation of what is going on, actually, not theoretically, 
not according to a particular pattern of thought, but what is. And in that observation of what is, to make that very clear, an abstraction of what is into an idea brings only further confusion. 